outsourcing trash collection. Fresno, California says no, and Motown says we're interested. Stop down to the curb for more. Hello, I'm Waste and Recycling News Editor John Campanelli. Voters in Fresno, California have defeated a proposal that would have privatized the city's trash and recycling collection. In an extremely close vote that took more than a week to count, supporters of city collection prevailed by only a few hundred votes. If the outsourcing plan, also called Measure G, would have been approved, the city would have ceased collections and private hauler Mid-Valley Disposal would have paid the city $2.5 million a year in franchise fees as well as a $1.5 million signing bonus to collect residential waste from about 105,000 customers in the city. Fresno Mayor Ashley Swearingen, who spearheaded the privatization campaign, says the defeat of Measure G may mean layoffs of city police officers and firefighters. Jim Veros, managing partner at Pegasus Waste Systems, which has offices in Fresno and Detroit, watched the election closely. We asked him why Measure G lost. You know, I think it was very much a conversation of trust. This is a very popular mayor in the city of Fresno. They did not work with the common residents in teaching them that not, not only is nothing going to change, but here's the reason why we can keep your rates low. They never talked about the recycling stream. They never talked the business aspect of it. It was always, trust me, and if you don't, we're taking away your cops and your fire. And I think that sort of tactic really didn't work, and they thought it would. And I think within the last week or so of that campaign, they knew it, and there was nothing they could do to change it. The privatization news doesn't end there. The city of Detroit is facing a staggering budget crisis with debt and liabilities estimated at $17 billion. To help dig out of that hole, the city's emergency financial manager is preparing to privatize the Motor City's trash service. According to the Detroit Free Press, the city has met with waste management and Republic Services and has been told a private company could save the city $15 million a year in collection costs. Right now, the city spends about $50 million annually for solid waste services and serves about 700,000 residents. When asked about how union workers will react to outsourcing, Joseph Valenti, Jr., vice president of Teamsters Local 214, said, quote, they're going to flip. Finally, this has to be a hoax. It's a new video from Coca-Cola Columbia. In it, we see beachgoers who seem elated to have solved the glass bottle recycling problem. That's because they're not drinking from glass bottles. Those are bottles of ice, Botella di Hielo. And when you're done, just let the waste melt away. A great marketing ploy, but we have our doubts as to how Coke could ever mass market, manufacture, ship, store, or serve these babies. And what if my tongue gets frozen to it? But we're not entirely dismissing the concept. You know, clothing and textile waste are big recycling challenges too. So, maybe a swimsuit made out of ice? That's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week at the Curve.